Hi, my name is Maria and my chosen molecule is theobromine. Now this molecule is the bitter alkaloid of the cacao plant, also known as chocolate. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I probably eat chocolate every single day. Okay, maybe that's a bit of a lie. I'm, in reality, I eat some form of cocoa solids, which is the key ingredient of chocolate every single day. Whether it's chocolate milk or chocolate peanut butter or, you know, just a bit of dark chocolate in my diet. So you might say it's pretty important to me. Now theobromine in chocolate acts as a mild stimulant. This is because it is an alkaloid, a white crystalline powder, which contains naturally occurring organic compounds of mostly nitrogen bases and have many physiological effects on the human body. Theobromine is a similar stimulant to caffeine. However, I favor theobromine because A, you get to eat more chocolate, and B, it's less aggressive on the system. It's been proven to stimulate the muscular system, increase the mood, provides gentle and smooth stimulation, and has no addictive qualities. No matter how much you might think you're addicted to chocolate, that is. So what are the chemical properties? Well, it's got a melting point of 357 degrees Celsius, a molecular weight of 180.166, and a slight water solubility of 330 milligrams per liter. Now, the chemical formula of theobromine is C7, H8, N4, and O2. This chemical structure has seven gray carbon atoms, eight yellow hydrogen atoms, four blue nitrogen atoms, and two red oxygen atoms. Each carbon atom contains four valence electrons, allowing for each electron to bond to another atom. In the event that two atoms have two pairs of valence electrons to share, a double bond is formed, as you can see here with two carbons, here with carbon and nitrogen, here with carbon and oxygen, and again with carbon and oxygen. These are called covalent bonds. Theobromine is a dimethyl xanthine, which means that it contains two methyl ions, CH3, here and here. Now even though theobromine is slightly soluble, it is non-polar. There may be some polar groupings, but the structure of the rings causes the bonds to share the molecules equally and makes theobromine a non-polar molecule with covalent bonds. So now you know a little bit more about theobromine, and more importantly, about chocolate. Mm.